Welcome back. We sure did see a fair amount of sunshine this afternoon, making the weekend, well, not a total bust after all the rain yesterday. Let's take a look at our forecast. We're sitting at 52 degrees right now in both Boise and Mountain Home, while Ontario is checking in at 55. Things are generally pretty quiet here across the Treasure Valley. Uh, we're just seeing a few showers around the fringes of it, and this usually happens uh, in the higher terrain because it's higher as airflow gets forced up over hills or mountains. That cools the air and that causes the uh, moisture to condense and form clouds and showers. In lower areas like the Treasure Valley, that doesn't happen as much, so we get more sunshine and just a few clouds. So that's generally what we're seeing here across most of the valley today. We're going to see pretty much the same thing happening yet again tomorrow. Uh, not much changing. The wind's certainly hanging around today uh, and coming out of the northwest at anywhere from 10 to 15 miles per hour. We've seen gusts up around 25, even 30 miles per hour. So a breezy day and that'll continue here through the rest of the evening until that sun goes down. Then things will start to settle down just a bit. As we lo look out here across the region, you can see again scattered showers around the Treasure Valley and uh, plenty of moisture still streaming on shore off to the west. What's actually going to happen with this storm is it's going to miss us mostly swinging off to the south. You see the heavier precipitation uh, down in Nevada. We're not going to get too much by Wednesday. Oh, the model's only calling for two hundredths of an inch trace amounts in Ontario. That's not a lot and you can see that the model's coming up real well here showing the valley not getting much. Nice little uh, low area there, not getting the showers. So that's what's going to happen as we head through the next few days. Your future cast will show that nicely here as we head through uh, Sunday and into Monday. A few scattered showers out across the mountains, but not too much happening down in the valley. We will see a few clouds passing from time to time, maybe a sprinkle or two uh, throughout the next few days, but nothing real heavy. Certainly nothing like the substantial rainfall totals we've been seeing over the last uh, couple of days. Okay, let's take a check across the region here. Looking at 50s in the Treasure Valley for tomorrow. Mostly cloudy with a very slight chance of some sprinkles. And it'll be breezy, but tomorrow the winds will be coming from a different direction from the southeast. As we head up north, we're looking for scattered snow showers in the mountains. Nothing heavy, just flurries. A little warmer in Riggins, 58, but McCall getting up into the 40s tomorrow after a few days stuck in the 30s. And then as we head east over towards Stanley, Fairfield, and Sun Valley, we're looking for 40s generally. Partly cloudy skies out here with just a few scattered snow showers and flurries. Again, no real accumulating snow expected. Down across the Magic Valley, partly cloudy for you with a slight chance of some sprinkles as well. Highs up into the 50s and it will be breezy there as well. Okay, time now for a check of our seven-day forecast. We are looking at uh, relatively quiet conditions on Monday. We might see a sprinkle or two popping up. As we head into Tuesday, we'll see another chance of some showers. Nothing heavy. And then Wednesday and Thursday look pretty nice. We'll see a fair amount of sunshine with temperatures into the upper 50s. Not too bad. But unfortunately, another storm coming in for the weekend. Looking pretty wet both Saturday and Sunday, Tammy. Well, Avalanche Alley is back open as of this morning. I think the sun helped. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. They're not getting as much snow up there. Crews can get out and clear out the mm -hmm. roads. So. All right. Thanks, Adam. Well, a new lead could be the most